Okay, I'm gonna make this short and sweet. I got into a little argument. It's not. It wasn't even a debate. It was an argument with this uh, Christian, and uh, he was trying to say that uh, all logic comes from God. And it it was a response to this uh, person's video. And I was saying that uh, logic is objective, not subjective. And uh, I wrote this long response to him, and he was basically saying to me, to my response, he said that scientists do not use logic. So this video is for you, buddy. We're going to talk about the scientific method and uh, the branches of logic, or rather the branches of logic and how the scientific method uses them. What we have under the branches of logic are inductive and deductive reasoning. Now, reasoning is what we use in logic to come to a series of conclusions. Inductive re reasoning, which is what empiricism uses, is based off of observation. We can't know anything empirically under inductive reasoning if we haven't observed it. And that's largely what the scientific method does with experiments. It uses inductive reasoning to induce something. And then we have deductive reasoning, which is known as rationalism or rationality. And that is your knowledge by thought. You come to a conclusion based off of something you know prior. So, well, if something is like this then logically it'd have to be this. That's basically what they're saying under that branch of logic. For example, empiricism uses the if B then A. It studies the effect and looks for the cause. Rationality, if A then B. It looks at, pretty much it looks at the cause and figures out the effect or hypothesizes the effect is more accurate however it is very important to know that both are very important to science you can't have science without both branches of logic so if B then A observation. If A, then B, that would be your cognitive reasoning. You follow? Okay. Both branches of logic are important to scientists and the scientific method they rely upon. These methods were created by Aristotle over 2,000 years ago. Problem? Any criticism is very welcome, so feel free to leave a video response if you want.